Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to install the latest version 6.2.1 on our system. To be able to record everything, I'm going to do this in VirtualBox, and there are other tutorials on there on the net on my YouTube channel on Eric Dubois. There you'll find other tutorials how to set these parameters to have a, a best possible setting for your VirtualBox system. I've done everything here. Um, what we should do is um, let's move this one here. So in a few days time, we'll go to the download in archmerch.info. You have a download, you have your download source forge. And now there's nothing yet there yet, but it will have a division between two ISOs, the arch merged one and the arch merged one. You just go download whatever you want and that will have also the 6.2.1. So you'll have it in a few days there. And then, if you've downloaded everything, so from Source for Source Forge, you go to your download. You say, okay, I want to have this ISO, okay? And then you pop it in in your virtual box and you start the system. Press Control F. It it uh, simplifies things. Then you maximize it. You do a full screen and then you boot. It will enable VirtualBox to know how big your screen is and they'll have a full screen rather than these bars everywhere. So that was Control F for full screen. Now we are the, we've passed the booting already. I want to say something about the boot process. We're now on VirtualBox and everything is smooth. There are no errors whatsoever. That's because the ISO has been uh, tweaked or tuned to be great in VirtualBox. But when you put it then, when you install the ISO then and on the uh, bare metal, let's say, or SSD, hard disk, you'll get these pop-up uh, red lines and did not load kernel module, things like that, because he thinks he's still on the VirtualBox and he doesn't find it. So we've done, we've dealt with that a little with a little script and second time around, you will not see any of these messages but in VirtualBox you don't see anything because they're working we need them so welcome to Arch Merge installer every language is possible I've tried uh, several Polish French uh, Indonesian Arabic I've changed I've tested a few of them and uh, it's great so you just choose the language you want and then next and then you can select what time zone you were in Normally it will detect it correctly and it's set, so I don't have to do anything. Next, <clears throat> I'm a bit specific. We need Azerty keys in Belgium. So I need this one, Belgian Azerty, but you choose your keyboard. And then the advisor always give you that is erase everything. Don't do dual boots. Don't uh, ask questions about dual boot on forums. I mean, it's looking for trouble. It's um, best thing to do is buy an extra SSD, buy an extra hard disk and switch between them. Say this is Windows, I'll play my games and this is Linux, I'll try to figure it out and learn about Linux. And then you don't have to worry about it, not to be afraid that you'll break your system of Windows and so on, you lose data. So follow the erase disk and follow what he says is best for your system. And then you say next. So no manual partition for me. What's your name? I always call my PCs with the number. So I still know what I'm on since I make so many ISOs and tests. And then we want to log in automatically without asking for passwords. Yes, I'm the only one here at home and the same password for administrator, that's easy. That's the same password and you can ch uh, choose whatever you want here, of course. Logging in automatically means in the system of Arch Merge that will send you to XFCE. So we assume you're a beginner in Linux and you'll pop up in this system, which will look a little bit familiar if you know um, other systems. So next and next and then we're off we've changed calamares a little bit so this program that we're running here is called calamares it's from the manjaro team and we're very proud to use it and we're 
They would have been very helpful in the past and we have helped them in the past. And that's how it works. Helping each other in Linux, that's great. So as you can see, <clears throat> I have no more text like in the previous version, but I chose to have awesome pictures just to show you how beautiful Arch Merge can be. Why? Because all the text is here. You don't need text on your Calamares to know what Arch Merge is. Just come look here and we can go over um, the information. So this is archmerge.info. It will give you information. This is archmerge.com. That's for the ISO of Arch Merge. So that's XFCE, Openbox and i3. That's what we're installing. We're actually working on this one. But this one is Arch Merged. That's even tougher. That's learning phase two, three and four. Meaning we have a blank ISO, a clean, a minimal, themed, not themed, actually learn how to install Arch elements, Arch desktops, Arch themes, Arch icons and so on. So the Arch Merged is our phase two when we're talking about XFCE and Openbox and i3. Phase three is any desktop we like and Budgie is already available. And next up is Cinnamon. And phase four will be in some years or months, I don't know, but that will be an archway installation. So we still have a lot of possibilities. Um, if you see the Arch Merge Gallery, if we have to, if we want to document all these desktops, we'll have some amounts to have fun. And that's what it's about. For us, we learn, we have fun, we share the knowledge. That's Arch Merge. It was set here, I think, somewhere in the home page. We develop, we document, we're different, we're diverse, and you decide the desktop. That's the D. You decide whatever you want from desktop. In Arch Mush, then we decide that it's going to be these three. And they're all teamed, they're all working as it should. What uh, we've done in the meantime as well, in respect to previous edition, is, as you can see, the wallpaper changes. So um, many people have uh, complimented us about uh, variety, saying, wow, that's awesome. This thing provides me with wallpapers, and that's this little button down here. And we can see what wallpapers we can have. And there is also already one that's not coming from Arch Merch. So it's not from us, it's coming from the net from desktopper.co, a great website where all the wall wallpapers are. And um, well, that's new. So now we're gonna reboot. If we're on uh, VirtualBox, remember to go one line down. This is the live version and this is your hard disk or SSD. And now we're booting into Arch Merge 6.2.1. We have finished our installation. And like I said, this um, kernel module is not loaded. That's uh, only going to happen on SSD. And next time around, when you boot it, it's gone. So this is your Arch Merge. Um, <clears throat> What's important to show you is, for instance, there are two things that are fun, and that's this one is a straight link to the website. That's so if you have a problem and if you don't know things and you say, oh, maybe it's on the website. And here, that's the link we're now at, and it's gonna summary, summarize, yeah, that's the word, summarize everything you need to know. I'm going to need to rewrite some of the articles, but it's a work in progress. So here you'll find all the information necessary for all the elements you'll encounter, all the things you'll encounter. It's first check here. That's the message. And there's an easy link to it, like so. The other thing, that's the Conky Zen. People love our Conkeys. So if you, that's alphabetically, if you click here. If you just say, I take this one, and then you have this Conky Lua. So 
Uh, Lua has been installed now, anything with dials and so on, everything works, clocks and all that. So that should work out of the box, if not on the link we just saw. Uh, something new in 6.2.1 for people already having Arch Merch is this little thing here. So it's easier to just right mouse click somewhere and have a conkey set. That's what I discovered working on Arch Merch. So I want to have this. So here it is. Let's try a logo. And there you go. You have now a logo on your system. Maybe an orange one. This one reads, uh, I stays a bit, uh, needs to read a lot of information, so it's a few seconds later. Anyway, so that's that. Um, if you want to go to the other versions, then you go to logout. So this is XFCE. Go up here, go to open box, go in here and say, that's me. Log back in, don't show this message again, okay. And here you have now this kind of menu. So right mouse click gives you an awesome menu with everything on your system. This is everything on your system from here till here. And these things up here and down here are manually created. All explained on the website, how to change it and all that. If you want... Um, to go to the other system because we have three systems so if you can't decide we have three systems so log out again and then if i3 and there you go we have now a third system on your uh, computer all the data stay the same everything you install everything you have downloaded they're all there from any of the desktops so that's a great advantage. From time to time I like to switch, I like open box, but sometimes I just want to have i3. So it's great to have a choice and the choice is on one system. So that's great. How to get back out? That's maybe a difficult thing here. Since if you don't know i3, there are about, I don't know, 25 tutorials about i3, something like that. But remember here already, super shift and then Q. Then I quit something, and when I quit something, I see a conky, and a conky is not normal in i3, but it's there to help you. You see here, Super X, so Windows X, Super X, and then it says here in red, System, Lock, Logout, Suspend, Hibernate, Shutdown, no, no, let's log out with an L, and then you're out of this i3 thing. It's uh, a bit of, um, well, it, it needs your attention in your time and your energy if you want to master i3 but all the tutorials are on there where are they you go to arch merge hello you go to the home you go to our forum if you want to have questions if you want to look something up you go to the archmerge.com if you want to work on your iso of arch merge and if you have already uh, sufficient knowledge to go to the arch merged iso then you can Go to this website so they're divided in four um, choices all right i think i've said it i've said everything um rest of the tutorials you check them out um, and visit uh, the websites all right cheers